Hello, Demetrius. Thank you so much for participating in Single Moms Meets. What brought you here? Uh, I was off. Welcome back to the show. Can you take your shades off for us, please? I don't think you want me to do that because I'm pissed the fuck off right now. That's fine. We need to see how angry you are. Hello, Mo. Thank you for coming in today. Hey. Um, you seem kind of dry. Is there a problem? Um, Demetrius, where are you from? From, uh, Chicago. Okay, born and raised? Uh, I think it was my mama said. Oh, okay, so Chi-Town is in the house. Wonderful, wonderful. So tell me, what kind of single mother are you looking for? A single mama? I mean, are you? Like, I don't know, she's got to be sick. <laughs> okay. So when they go to work. She just has to have a job. Yep. Employment. Yep. No Mom. physical type. She can't be fat. Well, what's wrong with fat? Oh, uh, no. Fuck no. Oh, oh, right. Okay. Um, Any type of nationalities? Or are you open to any nationality or just specific one? She got to be light-skinned. Oh. <laughs> light skin. I like light skin. Oh, so you don't like a chocolate nope, woman? Nope. Caramel? Nope. Light skin. Light skin Latino. That specific? Yup. Uh, that sounds a little bit, you know, racist. No, I don't. Oh. It's what I want. Oh, okay. Uh, so how was your date last night? Date? Yes. That's what you want to call it. What happened? We set you up with a wonderful guy named Rodney. Who was he wonderful to? He wasn't wonderful to you. Did you try going out with his ass first? Well, I'm not a participant in the show I'm a producer. I'm just wondering who qualified him as... What was the qualifications to make him wonderful? Well, we put your compatibility with his compatibility and we put it together and the... Um, processing system that we use said that you two would be a perfect match. You had a lot of the same qualities. You like some of the same things. Oh, so you use the computer. Yes. That's the problem. So, um, do you have any children yourself, Demetrius? Nope. Did you want children? No, because she probably already got like three of them any day away. <laughs> so, that'll be enough. That's all I got. Hurry up with this bullshit so I get the fuck back home to my kids. Tell us why you're so angry. What happened? Because day? my date was some fucking bullshit. It was bullshit. It was fucking horrendous. And I don't even know that word, but it was that. Oh, wow. So you went out with Jeffrey last night? Yeah. What happened? Tell us what happened on your date. First of all, I don't even know why the fuck you guys would set me up with a nigga named Jeffrey. Jeffrey? Do I look like the type of bitch that would date a nigga named Jeffrey? Well, he said his friends called him J-Rod sometimes. J-Rod? Yeah. What the fuck is a J-Rod? I had no idea, but it's better than Jeffrey. I would agree with that. You got that right, Ashtray. <laughs> Ashley? Ashtray. Because you're trashy as fuck. So we um are going to do the compatibility test right now. We're going to ask you a bunch of questions so we can go through our database and make sure that we set you up with the perfect single mother. So... Um, first question, are you uh, more of an indoors or outdoors person? Uh, is sitting in your car count? Uh, he was a dog person. Uh, he loved desserts. He's a workaholic like you. None of that intrigued He was a dog. As in, we'll dog your ass out in the desserts as he wanted this cake and eat it too. So, um, what do you like to do in your free time? Paper mache. And kayaking. Oh, that's that's interesting to meet you. You are and one. No, don't, don't you know like don't don't you know, like the uh the Q tips? I like to collect the cotton off the Q tips. Yep, that's what I do in my free time. Uh, do you eat the Q-tips? Nope. I just like to collect the cotton and the Q-tips and then 
Stick it on the wall. You spit on them? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Nope. I put gum on the back of them and stick it on the wall. That's unsanitary. Like a thumbtack. No, it's not. That That's weird. No, it's not. Okay. Um. And I go to Applebee's and do it all the time. You go to Applebee's and do yeah. it? I, Boy, Castle put me out. They caught me. I will never go there. First of all, I was very specific as to my height requirements. And when I walked up to this sawed off motherfucker, I could not believe that I had to look down on my date. Now, I've already told y'all I'm five seven three quarters. Next time, tell me to wear flats. If y'all can't find me somebody that's at least six two. Okay? That three quarters means a lot to you. It does. Okay, so how much shorter was Rodney? He said in his uh, profile that he was six feet. He wasn't six feet? He lied? <laughs> he was six feet too short. <laughs> <laughs> Pets have you had? I had a pet, uh, a pet cockatoo. A cockatoo? Yep. I think it was a cockatoo. It was in my backyard one day, so I was like, I was looking. I was like, is that a cockatoo? Because he kept saying, cockatoo, cockatoo. Then he said, Hoo -hoo. I was like, oh, what is this? Is that a parrot? I don't know. A bird. Um, yeah, he lied. I mean, if he's six feet, and I got on four inch heels, then he's shorter than me, right? Yes. Okay. But without heels, he would have been perfect, correct? So we did our job. Girl, look. So are you a morning person or a night? Oh, hell no. Uh-uh. Don't wake me up in the morning. Don't wake me up in the morning until I get up. Don't tell me no breakfast ready, no nothing. Night person. So morning sex would just be out of the oh, question no, for you. Oh, no, you should have got it last night. Where did you guys meet? We met in the Central West End. And what were your first impressions of Rodney? He was all right. I mean, he was average. And I was tired, so I didn't really get to see what exactly he looked like. Uh, I mean, shit, he didn't look better than me, so. How many siblings do you have? Uh, on my dad's side. a lot. I think it's like 12 of us. That's, that's, wow. All by the same mother and father? No, no. Oh. Nope. Papa was a rolling stone. I don't know about him, but all the ass look like. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. But Contessa, her ass go like that. So, tell us what happened on your date. First of all, this nigga called me instead of texting. Don't nobody even call no more. It's text. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to hear your fucking voice. I want a good morning text. I what you doing? Have you ate? Or you sleep? You want to fuck? Like, I don't want to talk to you. Just text me. So this nigga called me, first of all, and he wore down my motherfucking minutes trying to have a whole conversation, trying to get to know me and shit. I'm like, nigga, we can say that for the fucking date. I got minutes, nigga. I got minutes. And I'm using my minutes on you when I got to use my minutes for when my kid's father call from jail and I got to make sure that my kid's father can talk to their fucking kids. So that was an F right there. And you told him that? Yes. Okay. Cause I'm like, if you're not gonna pay my bill, then why the fuck are we talking? Text me, nigga. It's unlimited, unlimited. I have minutes for the, the for the talk part, but my text is unlimited. So did he hang up and text you? No, he continued to fucking talk. Couldn't get this nigga to shut the fuck up. It was fucking annoying. What's your favorite restaurant? The corner store. I think that's a restaurant. It is a restaurant. They sell lunch meat in there. They sell hot wings in there. They sell uh, Krabby Patties in there. What's a Krabby Patty? You know them little Krabby Patty gummy little things. I they come in, it look like a little hamburger. Oh. Yeah, them good. Mm, okay. Yup. Oh. 
I'm going there when I leave here too. That sounds exciting. Are you on any medication, Demetrius? Medication? Uh-uh. This? Oh. Well, you oh, drink she better have me some beer too. I like this and Coke 45, OE, Miller Highlight. That's mm. a champagne of beer. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Drink every day. Beer. Mm. Would you consider yourself an alcoholic? Where did you guys go on your date? I'm having fucking nightmares right now just thinking about this shit. I'm having fucking flashbacks. Like I feel like I'm having an anxiety attack and I don't even know what the fuck to do about this shit. I don't, should I breathe into a bag? Like, I don't even fucking know. Make sure you take those with you. I think you left those here the last time. These are fucking wonderful. Best popcorn ever. But whatever. Like I said, um, so Jeffrey picks me up. And this old fancy the fuck ass car. I don't even know how to pronounce that shit. It was like a a a May a May bum um a, a May Back. block a what? It's okay, honey. Okay, so he picked you up. You let him pick you up from your home. Yes, and it was mad uncomfortable. Everybody on the block was outside. Like, Keisha, who the fuck is that? Look at this nigga call. Everybody was like looking and shit. I was mad fucking embarrassed, yo. Mad fucking embarrassed. He was uncomfortable. He was scared and shit. My brothers and shit ran up on him, tried to rob him. They're like, this is just the worst. It was the fucking worst. Like, why the fuck can he showed up in like in a color supreme or a Monte Carlo or some shit, some old hood shit? You know what I'm saying? Niggas in Brooklyn don't know shit about no Maybaum. Oh wow. So how did you handle that situation? Did you I just put my glasses on. I just put my glasses on, put my head down. That's all I did. I just went to the car like this. Just went to the car like this. And just act like I couldn't even see the nigga. Like it was just it was fucking embarrassing. Where do you work, Demetrius? Uh down at the mill. Oh, doing? Busting rocks. Okay, how long have you been busting rocks for a living? Uh, shoot, my daddy had took me down there to have a job when I was like eight years old. I was like, Daddy, I can't do this shit. He was like, Man, yes, you can. He was like, Just snap with your teeth. And so I've been snapping. See, I lost one right there. Oh, wow. Girl, I, had bit, I had bit down too hard. Oh. But it broke like a thousand pieces. I did. <laughs> I was excited. I was like, Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got a raise that day. Okay, Keisha, tell us what happened on your job so you can get home now. I'll tell them kids. On my job? I mean, damn, my bad. <laughs> <laughs>